when you're driving by first to go and park, you see all these people that you know, that you got the emails from about. And this time I came and I've seen of all these people, I've seen only two people that I know. Um, it's usually okay. students and younger people have a lot, um, not a lot of hope these days because of what's happening in the economy. They can't get jobs. What I'm seeing here is people saying it's affecting all of us, it's affecting everyone. Uh, we're hurt by it, we're tired of the corporation's money going into our politics and we're ready to give or say what we want, um, get our voices heard and take our country back. And, you know, it's moved into suburbia, that's sort of the, the tone for today, it's in small cities. Is that more effective? Is that show that it's broadening or is it just sort of a, a natural progression of this movement? No, it shows it's broadening. Um, it's it's often let's all go to a big city and protest or I think there's a feeling of hopelessness in people. It's like I can't go to Washington DC and a lot of my representatives here feel the same way I do. But this has really struck a chord where people are coming out where they live, looking at we have banks here, we have corporations here, it's, it's home here, these national corporations, the big banks, and we just, people just want justice. Thank you, Tamara. Appreciate I'm here because I can't stand it anymore, what's happening with our lack of democracy, our lack about caring about economic uh, responsibility and ecological responsibility. All of it is in the hands of government that is doing us an injustice. And uh, we people need to speak up, and we're doing it here in Marin. So I'm excited about this big turnout today in Marin, and it'll only get bigger. <laughs> out there and also we are part of the 99% and it's just ridiculous and we sh this is not what America is supposed to be. I stand with my peoples and I study forest ecosystem science and conservation and I have a lot of student debt and I can't get any jobs in that and I just had a job working with the disabled but there was a grant that ran out so now I'm unemployed and um, yeah I'm looking forward to eventually getting a good job and paying off my loans. I hope that's a something that can happen for me. Um, I'm here because I think the way that our government and our corporations are handling our, uh, the current situation in this country is unconscionable. I think it's really unfair that money is going to the top and people are suffering. People have been unemployed for months and months. That's why I took my lunch hour to leave my job and come down here to be part of this today. And I hope that everybody else will take their lunch hour and the unemployed people will gather with us and we'll demand that this country take care of its people. Okay, well I'm here today because I'm so happy that my town is coming out for getting off the sofa and getting off their butts and coming out here and standing up for people's rights and democracy rights. And I remember something that Father Bill O'Donnell said on his deathbed, who was a wonderful activist, and he said his last breath was, hit the streets. And finally the natives are getting restless and I want to be part of that movement. I've got a... a Son-in-law, grandchildren who are skilled workmen and can't get work. I'm mad as hell that the bank is stealing America blind. This is not democracy. This is some kind of sham for the rich folks to get richer. I'm here to make a difference. And I want to get these people. Let's change this country. 
Let's make a peaceful revolution. One where we have real democracy, not a kleptocracy. Yes! Protest. Protest corporate rule. We bring back people's government. A nice Samaritan. I'm here because I believe that the uh, America was founded on a middle class, a successful middle class, and I'm scared to death about the fact that the middle class is disappearing in this country and what that's going to do to the rest of us. Uh, so I'm out here to support the fact that uh, the rich people are getting a little bit too much right now and uh, that needs to, to get to uh, to get to us. So Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah. Seven people. Of course. Of course. Move your money, keep it local. Move your money, keep it local. Move your money, just be accountable. In four, three, two. Hold on just a second. Okay, four, three, two. The Occupy movement moves into traditionally affluent areas. We'll tell you why organizers say you shouldn't be surprised. Say people are here because of the moral bankruptcy of this country and unmitigated greed. It's obvious where the money is gone. It was stolen, and the people here want it back. They want fair treatment, they want jobs, nothing more. And when you have people campaigning, blaming people because they've lost their jobs because of greed by Wall Street and the big banks, it's obscene. And it is a moral bankruptcy and a failure in this country. All right. When you campaign finance reform to stop the corruption of money in politics. What's your name? Anton Selkowitz. How do you spell it, Anton? Um, I don't. I don't like the 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 way things are going in this country, and uh, so. I'm standing up for myself and standing with these beautiful people and uh, the 99% and with, with all the with all that's going on with the banks and uh, the government and um, the, they're getting more and more greedy more and more power is going to them you know we just need to we need to say enough is enough I'm here because I'm tired of the genocide of the 1% <laughs> So everybody is welcome. Everybody, everybody is welcome. Everybody has a voice. Everybody has a voice. We're standing between two different paradigms. Bank of America Whoa. And, and the cooperative. <laughs> Occupy Marin. Occupy Marin. We want to get a sense. We want to get a sense of our collective commitment. Of our collective commitment. So how many people, <laughs> how many people are willing to come back here? Are willing to come back here on a regular basis. On a regular basis. All of your leaders. This Saturday. This Saturday is our next gathering. Is our next gathering. We're meeting here at noon. We're meeting here at noon. I welcome all races, colors, and genders. I welcome all races, colors, and genders into my five meter sphere. Into my five meter sphere. Where they will be treated with respect and dignity. Where they will be treated with respect and dignity. Long live the people on planet Earth. Long live the people on planet Earth. And their brothers and sisters, the animals. And our brothers and sisters, the animals. I think it's essential. I think it's essential that we include young people. That we include young people and college students. And college students in this movement. In this movement. I just wanted to say. I just wanted to say that when we are here together. That when we are here together. When we start saying. 
When give us jobs. When we start saying give us jobs. It seems like we're begging the one percent. It seems like we're begging the one percent. To give us the same jobs they have been giving us. To give us the same jobs they have been giving us. This is time for us. This is time for us.